Hi, I'm Jennifer from Stitch Upon a Time, and I'm here with my assistant Genevieve. Today we're going to show you how to piece together our PDF patterns using this Grundlewear 2.0. That's the women's underwear pattern that we have. I already have the pattern pages laid out according to the page layout guide. The numbers are in the bottom right corner. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six. I like to start at the top, put those two together, then put the middle layer together, and then the bottom layer, and then bring them all together in the middle. There are three ways that I do this, um, overlapping them so that the borders line up. You can either just line them up and eyeball it, because you can see the bottom border through the top page. So the first way is just to eyeball it, fold the pages up so that you can see the border. Make sure that it's all lined up along this line and the bottom and the top lines. And then tape it together. I like to tape together at the at the top and the middle. The bottom doesn't matter because there will be a piece of tape there once we overlap them. The other way is to either use a light table, light box, or a window. I have this handy tool here. It's only like $20 on Amazon and it's really, really handy. And it helps it so that you can see through the layers and see that they're 100% lined up without guess. The third way is to trim off the paper that's outside of the borders. That would be this paper on the top and one side. On this piece, I trimmed off the top, but not the side. That way when they overlap, I have something to tape to. So I use either paper scissors or a cutter to trim that off. And then it's easier to see the, the borders tape them together. Now we're gonna go ahead and overlap the different rows. And when taping together, I don't always tape on the edge of the paper if there's not a piece there. You can see that this piece starts right here, so I put the piece of tape right there. and then make sure you have a piece that covers all four pages. And that's it. We will go around with the paper scissors, cut out the pattern piece around the complete outside edge. And from there, you can decide whether you want to cut on the higher line for, this says cut on red line for fold over waistband, or you can cut down here on the black line for the regular. You'll also want to decide whether to stick with the outside black line here for the boy shorts or up on the purple line for the brief option.